The acronym SCOS stands for Simple Knowledge Organization System, and it's a recommendation by the World Wide Web Consortium for building rich taxonomies and thesauri. In simple terms, it is basically a knowledge organization architecture developed based on key principles like simplicity, portability, interoperability, extensibility, and standardization, making SCOS more like a set of guidelines rather than strict rules for information modeling. You remember the key considerations we discussed towards the end of the previous section? Well, these considerations are actually embodied in SCOS. With SCOS having been developed in the context of the semantic web, it therefore sits on top of the stack of languages for semantic knowledge model development, which I'm assuming you should be familiar with. In case you're not, just a reminder that there are a couple of prerequisites for the course, one of which is to be familiar with building OWL ontologies. So, first of all, SCOS is formalized in the web ontology language, or OWL. As such, SCOS is regarded as a lightweight OWL-based ontology for developing controlled vocabularies, taxonomies, and thesauri, depending on the level of description of knowledge organization scheme you're trying to develop. And of course, like with all the semantic web stack of languages, SCOS is not limited to just web data, but can be applied to enterprise data as well. With this wide remit of application, SCOS unlocks the sort of use cases and examples we discussed previously.